Hey, hey guys, it's Nicole. Welcome back to Chronicles of a Crafter. So today I'm going to show you guys how I create something that I'm calling a theme meme journal. It's really simple. It's made of one sheet of paper. You really want to see how this is done. So go grab some 9 by 12 or 8.5 by 11 sheets of paper and I'll show you exactly how this is done. I'll be back in two ticks. Okay guys, so a theme meme journal is basically just a very small journal that you've created little memes in to um, in the form of a theme, alright? And this basically a meme is something that we all use nowadays to memorialize something. So you can see a, a movie or a video or a picture of something and you create a meme or memorial to represent what you've just seen. And that's basically what a theme meme journal is. I'm calling it that. It may be called something else completely. I don't know, but that's what I'm calling it. So I'm going to hashtag theme meme journal um, in the description box down below. So I'm going to show you how I made it with two different sizes of paper. One is an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, which I know we all have. It's, you know, just standard um, cardstock paper that you can pick up at Michaels in a recollections pack and also you can make this out of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper by simply cutting it down and removing the last three inches off the page and then you have a 9 by 12 piece of paper that you can also do this with. The point of this whole thing is that it has to be a, a rectangle and not a square so that's why we were moving the last three inches off of a 12 by 12 sheet of paper in order to create a 9 by 12. I'm going to start with my eight and a half by 11 and give you the score marks for this um, size sheet. Here's my large scoreboard. This is just a standard piece of cardstock. I picked this up at Michael's. It is a recollections pack of um, medium weight cardstock. It's 65 pound, 176 GSMs. And let me just give you the score marks that you're going to need to in order to make this journal. First, you're going to hold your paper on the horizontal and you're going to score at two and three quarters. You're going to score at five and a half and then you're going to score at eight and a quarter. Okay, then you're going to rotate your paper quarter turn and you're going to score at four and four and a quarter. Sorry, four and a quarter. Okay, which is right there. Then you're going to remove your scoreboard. I'm going to flip my page over so that you can see my score marks a little bit better, right? And you're going to cut a slit in your page on the horizontal from this score mark to this score mark. So from your, uh, your two and three quarters to your eight and a quarter score marks, okay? I'm just going to turn my page on a side so that I can place my little metal ruler up against this and I'm going to use my craft knife for this process and I'm just going to cut directly into the page from one score mark to the other and that's it that's all the cutting that we're doing for this project and um, and um, then you're going to take your page and fold it on all of the score marks so there's my half my, my half mark I'm going to fold it back on this mark and then I'm going to fold it on this mark right here. You can use your bone folder to get really tight creases because that can be important for, for the next step. Okay, so you get your really tight creases right there and then you're going to fold it here and get a really tight crease right there okay and now as you hold your page up you should have something that looks like this right and you can see that your your journal is already starting to form as you push it into its shape and then you have yourself a little journal right so with those really tight score marks is now you have to decide like where's my front where's my back you know the front cover the back cover etc so this is how we have it right now if we were to open it up you'll see that your journal has been in the shape of um, the same um, page that I had previously 
And here is our front and our back, and then the journal continues around this way, okay? So here we have the same, the same page. Just going to open it back up. All right, so here is our front, our back, and the rest of our journaling space goes around that way. So, like I said, it doesn't have to be anything like super great, but let's just say we want to do a journal. Let's just say we want to do a journal about, hmm, let's see, my week's meals, okay? So this week, you can write right here, uh, my weeks meals and to you know just to decorate your front cover it doesn't have to be like you know anything fabulous you don't have to have a ton of art skills in order to do this I just basically um, wrote in what I wanted it to say on my front cover so from here it can just be just that simple all right so let's say one, two, three, four, five, six days of this week. And even if you want on the back cover, you can place something as well. So for my seven days of the week, this is what I ate, okay? Let's just say, let's just say, I ate a slice of pizza. So here we have a slice of pizza. Some pepperoni, some sausage, some green peppers, some onions, you know, it doesn't have to be um, extra uh, fancy. And all you have to do was, all you have to do is write um, Monday pizza. And just like you decorated the front, you can do the same thing to the, the each, um, each uh, page in the journal and um, yeah and that'll be your theme so uh, the next day I had I don't know let's just say I had a hot dog okay so there's your hot dog with a bun some ketchup some mustard and I don't know relish okay and then you can write hot dog. Okay. Again, nothing fancy. Um, you know, just decorate it however you like. Here, I'll zoom you in just a little bit. Okay. And then you can simply put, um, you know, love that relish. Okay, really simple, not a big deal. The important thing that you need to know is that when you when you go on to your um, third day or your third tile, you need to rotate your page. Okay, so the whole thing gets rotated around to this side. And now my Wednesday will go here. I'll just put Wednesday down here. Oops. Okay. I forgot the end. Anyway. <laughs> so for Wednesday, let's just say I had a bowl of soup. And whatever you place in here is up to you. So here's my bowl of soup. Um, some noodles. Um, I don't know, chicken pieces, maybe tofu, some veggies. And if that's not recognizable as a bowl of soup, you can simply put here tofu, veggies, noodles. Right?
simple. As you continue on on your um, your meme, your theme meme journal, you'll fold up your page like this with the opening, that big mouth opening right there, and then your journal folds over naturally into the shape that you originally had it as. Here's your front cover, here's your back cover, and then inside here are the memes that you wanted for that particular theme. Okay, really simple. And then you can always finish it up with something like this. Place a little pin, stick it in a journal, give it to a friend. What difference does it Like you can do whatever you want. Um, basically, it's just something that memorializes a theme. All right, and um, you can just pop this into your journal or if it's something pertaining to maybe travel, you can give it to your spouse as like, hey, hint, hint, these are the places I want to go. Matter of fact, let's make one of those, okay? I'm going to make a journal of all the places that I want to go. Here I have my, this was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, and I'll give you the score marks for this. I went ahead and cut down three inches off of my 12 by 12 sheet. So here's the 12 by 12. I removed those three inches off the edge over there and I ended up with a 9 by 12. And then I scored it at 3, 6, and 9. Rotated the page half turn or quarter turn to the right. And then I scored it down the middle at 6. Rotated it back and cut that center mark out between the three and the nine score marks. And as you hold your page up, you fold all your creases into the, the score marks that you've made and you'll see that your page automatically starts taking on the shape of your journal. Just keep in mind that when it's open like this, this is second quadrant is your front, this first quadrant is your back and everything else on here are your journal pages. So again, fold it up like so. Once you start pushing it into the shape that it wants to automatically be in because it's scored, here's your front and your back cover right here. So this is your front. The rest of these are your journaling spaces. All right, so let's open it back up because this is how the journal is decorated. You start off with your cover, and uh, my cover is going to say, oh, I don't know, uh, places, um, let's see, places I've visited. All right, and um, you can do all kinds of different decorations to go with this. It doesn't have to be anything fancy. Okay, so here's my front cover, places I visited. So, all right, let's see, places that I visit. I've been to, I've been to and this is where you can get super creative, okay? It does not have to be as basic as um, this guy. If you are talented enough to draw, you know, a full meal or a hot dog with a, I don't know, a cart, <laughs> like a guy selling a hot dog, you know, or what have you. It doesn't have to be as basic as this, but this is just one idea. So let's see, I've been to, I'm gonna put, um, let's do Hoover Dam, okay? Really simple, Hoover Dam, I've been there. I'm just going to draw what I think Hoover Dam looks like based on my memory. So here is one rock over here, another rock over here, and the dam runs in between the two. Um, so there's really no water. It's not like Hoover Waterfall. It's a dam. So up here there's like a pillar on either side of the road. And then there's these little pillars in between um, along the, the sidewalk. And um, let's see, the dam is basically in this shape right here. And below it there's a little 
wall and it looks like windows but I don't think they are I believe the movie Men in Black showed that Will Smith walked out and there was a door there um, so this pillar right here actually comes all the way down here and this pillar right here comes all the way down there and um, all through here is rock like this is all rock and um, the rock continues all the way there and between between here and here is water okay so now I have my Hoover Dam that's basically what I remember from the Hoover Dam this is all mountainous rock mountainous rock and um, yeah the rocks just continue all the way around here so that's my Hoover Dam I know it's not it's not um, as fancy as you one would think right so okay and um, yeah so that's it that's all you have to do I want to go to Hoover Dam in case anyone wondered um, if that's a dam or not but if it's if there's a question of whether or not that's a dam I would then take my let's say colored pencils these are my colored uh, alcohol markers and I'm just going to fill in just certain areas that I think needs to be filled in okay so there's that grab another one Okay, nothing fancy guys this is just basic basic art okay grab another one my dam is more than likely a beige color and by pre drawing your your object with um, with your pen it automatically just lives there forever and ever and then whatever colors you place on top of it it just um, still shows through so I'm just going to use my blending brush and blend these colors together and reduce some of the lightness of this part okay and uh, let's see what else um, let's fill in the areas that are missing so here these are just dam colors of the rocks around the Hoover Dam and then down here there's water so this right here runs into the Colorado River Okay, so there's that. Really simple, nothing fancy at all. Um, if you're questioning your art skills, this is a great way to try it out and see how well you are um, able to relay what you remembered or where you've been to um, on paper, right? So again, these are just little pillars that are on the side of the road. And then I dull it down with my little blending brush for some separation between the actual rock around it and the dam itself okay basic all right so when you fold this up here's my front cover places I visited boom Hoover Dam right there front front <laughs> easy to do right the next one uh, let's see I want to do Arches National Park I am going to basically just draw a flat top I'm going to come down like this come across go up and come back down okay there we have it arches National Park and of course these are all like in the shape of an arch right so 
but again it's still just rock so what do you do you grab some rock colored markers and uh, you just fill it in wherever you like then you can go back with your pen if you weren't sure like okay did I do that correct is that how it really looks just fill it in with your pen it'll live like that forever and ever here's my arch but it's still a rock and then here you can write arches National Park right so let's see okay it's just um, it's just rocks right so it doesn't really doesn't really look like much other than this it's made of sand and and uh, just rocks Okay. and then whatever you're not sure of you just go back in with your blending brush your blending um, marker and uh, blend all these colors together okay so there's that all right, but just remember that once you've done this, you have to rotate your page around to this side in order to get it to flow correctly. So let's just say I want to go to uh, the Grand Tetons. All right, so this is where <laughs> this is where it gets a little nutty. So of course I'm just going to draw peaks and valleys for the Grand Teton. They look like this okay so yeah there's my Grand Teton um, mountains here's the hill range that runs alongside of it okay so there's that and then um, below that um, let's see there's um, there's a, a shrub line so let's just do these shrubs back here these are the foothills below it and then there's the tree line so here we'll do some trees these are just some you know tall evergreens or what have you I'll do some you know winter trees some summer trees it doesn't really matter here we go same thing back and forth just the same thing like you know just whatever you remember for from this place that you've been to um, and uh, yeah and so sometimes there's like you know whatever whatever guys <laughs> it's whatever it's whatever you want right the difference comes in and whether or not you want to leave it just as simple as this or if you want to um, add color Okay, so there's my Grand Teton. Oh, let's see. Oh, this right here is around um, a lake. So there's my lake. And of course, there's grassy knolls around the trees. So there's that. All around the lake. And then my reflection of the mountains are in here as well. So I have to repeat that and it's just basically just recreating what you've done up at the top just like that and then maybe my little um, hills are also in the reflection really simple you come in with your markers let's see Grand Tetons are kind of gray so I'm just going to uh, gray this down a little bit. Okay. 
And then I'll add the browns. Okay. And then um, my this section right here is also sort of gray. then I'll add I'll add the tan let's see let's do this one dusty rose okay and then I'll blend it all together with my blending brush and as you can tell they're really not blending like it just it just dulls it down it doesn't smudge it I should say they do blend but it's not like a smudge okay um, you have to repeat that in the water so here we go just um, a water line of something similar um, yep Okay, and I'll blend it. You know why that doesn't matter? Because you're going to cover it all up with blue. Okay, and of course you got to color in your tree line. So here we go. I'll use my darker green on these evergreens right here and on my grassy area down here and depending on the time of year you might get some I don't know some change of color in the trees And right here as well with some orange. Or some yellows. Okay, in my grassy area there might be some lighter colored green. And back here in the foothills, there might be some lighter color green. Basically, it's whatever you want it to be, right? And um, if that doesn't make you happy, blend it. Blend it into the mountains above. Okay? So basically, that's what I'm trying to recreate. It's places I've visited. Been to the Hoover Dam, Arches National Park. Here, if you're not even sure what park this is, you just take your pen and you write um, Teton National Park. And make it your own, right? That's my point. You just do whatever you like and make it your own. If you're unable to draw, there's always other things. You can just go to the internet and grab I don't know, a picture of a waterfall. You've been there, stick it on there. Um, if you're not really sure where to find pictures like that, grab some rub-on transfers. You want to go to the beach? Pop on some rub-on transfers. It's all about memorializing the places that you've been, want to do, or want to go to, the meals that you've eaten or want to eat, restaurants you want to visit. It's just about memorializing something that you've done or want to do, um, and it's called a theme meme journal. All right, again, here's how it folds. Very simply and into a journal. You can then pop one of these on here like so, or maybe something even more fancy like this. And um, yeah, 
all right guys so i'm gonna leave you right here i hope you guys have a super crafty day go do something wonderful and don't forget to check out my one link down below that takes you to all of my information i want to thank each and every one of you for subscribing to the channel don't forget guys stay naturally curious and i'll definitely talk to y'all in the next video bye